Hey, Kristen. Um, I just had an email. Um, shop has a customer whose car is a total loss <coughs> and they want to owner retain. Um, but the insurance company is saying that they're not going to pay any fees if it's owner retain. Um, any advice? <laughs> Which? <laughs> yeah, there, I mean, so I, first of all, search your state. But you know, at one point in my career, I was over total losses, particularly catastrophe total losses for the whole country. Um, we don't get to do that. There's some case law out there. In other words, everything that is reasonably incurred because of a loss, and that can be towing expenses, storage, fees, whatever, that's reasonably incur incurred because of a covered loss is owed under the policy. The condition of salvage disposition doesn't change. So in other words, if, if the insurer takes possession of the salvage, they take it to Copart, they sell it, they credit what that money is back toward the policy. If the customer keeps the salvage and owner retains, they deduct that salvage value and then they credit that back to the policy. So if the insured decides not to pay fees, that's really double indemnification and it's not going to go over well with the state.